what's going on out there. I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today I've got a quick tutorial where we're going to talk about using the brand new Vocal Synth 2 plugin from Isotope in MIDI mode. So I did a demo just having fun doing some improv freestyle types of stuff through many of the different modules and showing you some of the features and effects that are included. If you want to check out my demo, I'll put a link to it up here at the top of the video. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you specifically how to get it set up to work with your MIDI controller keyboard so you can use it more like a traditional vocoder, which I did in the demo. And many of you have been a little bit confused about how to set that up. And so I'm going to show you how to do it specifically in Logic Pro X. It's a little bit different in this DAW. So right now, you'll see that Vocal Synth is set up on the uh, audio track, my mic track, as an insert. So this is how the typical... Uh, auto mode would work and when we activate it so that's just the, the typical way it would work but for this purpose we need to create a new software instrument track so I'm gonna go do that and we're gonna be putting vocal sent to into the instrument slot of our inputs and we're gonna go down in the menu to AU MIDI controlled effects this is how you do it in Logic Pro X and we'll go to Isotope, and then we'll go to Vocal Synth 2. We'll put that on there. So we'll go and I'll select a, uh, let's just do a preset here. And the key to getting this set up is using the sidechain option here up in the, uh, the plugin window of Logic Pro X. But uh, first what I need to do is I need to route the mic audio to a bus. So, you might not be able to hear me for a second, but watch what I do. I'm going to route this to a bus, and then we're going to use the, uh, the side chain here. We're going to select the bus that I'm sending the audio to. So now, yeah, so you hear that, and uh, I'm going to turn it off for right now. What we're going to do is we're going to go to MIDI mode. We'll click Accept, and then now that this is set up, the important thing before we start playing on our keyboard with vocal synth is we don't want to be able to hear the dry vocal like you hear right now. We just want the sidechain signal coming through vocal synth. It's going to give us this effect. So we need to go to the bus and we need to set the output to no output. So it'll still be sending to the sidechain, but we're just not going to be able to hear this dry signal. And then I'm going to turn on vocal synth and we'll go over here and we'll start playing some MIDI on that track. Now we're playing in mid mode, and I hope this was helpful for you. 